he happened to live under a rock, you know. What happened on Monday night was nothing short of completely laughable, completely terrible, and just completely, you know, unacceptable. I'm talking about the Wichita Forces um, casino field. That's right, they played in a casino in a, in a exhibition game that looked, you know, absolutely terrible. We're talking one of the worst things I've ever seen in my entire life. You got, you ain't got no goalposts, you ain't got no, you ain't got no, you know, dashboard walls, you know, you have like inflatable walls or whatever. Nobody's there, you know, there's like maybe like maybe a thousand people, probably less than that there, you know, in Wichita, Kansas. So, one of the, one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, it's pretty sad, actually. It's pretty sad. You know, I, I don't know what I forget what happened to Wichita's actual arena for this year, but it is what it is. It is what it is, and you know, for their first home game of the season, you know, it, that, that was really rough to look at. Let me tell you that. So, what happened to the NAL? About that, let, let, let's not talk about the CIF anymore. Let's see. What in the world happened in the NAL? And Albany, you know, signed a bunch of guys. Albany, Albany, whatever. Y'all can get mad somewhere else. Um, but they signed a bunch of guys. David Pindell. Man. So now this team actually wants to start signing guys. Now they want to start signing guys. And stuff like that. Because, I mean, the season starts in a month, so, you know... You got you got to get it together. If the season starts in one month, I'm sure training camp and stuff like that is going on right now. In the NAL. So there you go with that. Um, I don't know about Ontario. I still don't think that should happen. I've been saying that for months since it was announced. It shouldn't happen. There should be an Ontario team, but whatever. The NAL is going to move forward with it anyway. You're, you, I mean, there's really no way that California is going to be opening up right now. And you shouldn't have a California team in a East Coast based league anyway. But whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. It's, it's, it's whatever y'all want. It's whatever the NAL wants at this point. What a joke. Uh, there's only one IFL game this week. So, you know, Green Bay and um, Massachusetts. And, you know, Green Bay really fumbled the bag against Bismarck. They really fumbled the bag. I mean, Bismarck, you know, messed up a bit too. But, you know, Green Bay really fumbled the bag. And, oh yeah, oh yeah, Louisville. Yeah, yeah, Louisville. What a rough debut, you know. KFC Yum Center looked, I mean, it looks great for hosting an arena football team. But there's way too many seats in there. You're talking about a 22,000 seat arena. And you know, you only got like maybe three to 6,000 people there. It just looks empty. It looks empty in there. I mean, they got the Baltimore Brigade Field, Columbus um, Destroyers, you know, walls and stuff. But I mean, it is what it is. And I mean, even the broadcast look nice for Louisville. Even the broadcast look nice, but you know, Massachusetts, you know, with those NFL players, you know, Martavis Bryant. Ooh, I mean, again, I was completely surprised he was even got signed. And then uh, also Terrence Williams, a former Cowboy, you know, also got signed. But, you know, I mean, I don't know what in the world happened, you know, because, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was just rough for Louisville. It was just rough. I mean, Brian Hicks, I mean, he's a good guy and stuff like that. But, I mean, the coach behind Louisville, Mark Stout, He's not a good guy, you know. And what I mean by he's not a good guy, I mean he's not a good coach. He can't coach to save his life. You know, I, I was like, wait. Didn't he coach Cedar Rapids? Didn't they go like 1-13 a in couple, a couple, 2 in 2019? Didn't they get shut out twice? 
I'm like, why, why is he still a coach? I don't get it. I don't get it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't get it. But yeah, so this is a new thing I'm doing this week in indoor football, if that makes any sense. <laughs> So, yeah, and the AAL really right now. I mean, the homies in the Discord got a shout-out on the West Michigan um, broadcast, which is on YouTube. I forget who they played. I believe it was like Chicago or something, the Chicago Power or something like that. So, long live 50-yard shitposting. That is right. Long live the Discord. And also on that also on that note, you know, the other team that's really doing damage in the AAL right now, the Charlotte Thunder, I think they should come on over. Come on over to the AAL, please. Come on over, you know, and play some real competition. You know, you got a lot of guys as far as investors are concerned that are really, really nice. We're talking, you know, Ted Ginn Jr., you know, that they got a lot of players that are really, really nice. And West Michigan too. They need to go. They need to jump ship somewhere. Jump ship to the IFL. Probably it's in that footprint, you know, of where the IFL is, or at least one of the places where the IFL is. You know, just go ahead, jump ship. You know, you can up your production quality, up up your game, up everything. If you move on, I know the I know the low roof thing is an issue, but I mean, roof issues in indoor football are always a thing. So you know it is what it is there. But yeah, that that'll pretty much do it. I have nothing else really to say. I just wanted to get a video out today on a gloomy Tuesday. So that being said, everybody, I'll see you guys in the next video. Who knows when that will be. Um, there's, there's probably going to be something interesting coming up soon. I don't know when as well, but I'll tell you all about that when the time comes. See you then.